Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Let's see what's going on for my Pisces babies. We are going to do oracles and tarot in this reading. We have miracles, summoning power, and power over difficulties. And an activation of telepathy. It says transmission, perception, and communication. It's like what I'm feeling like is that you don't even have to talk to this person. You can think it and they pick it up. So we have miracles, ancient wisdom. So you're realizing that the power has been with you the whole time, Dorothy. And now you're summoning it. Instinct, intellect, and control. Summoning your power. If you are a Pisces uh, son, most likely your spirit animal is a wolf. That's a white wolf. That's a powerful totem there. Um, a powerful familiar and we have reclaiming your power power over difficulty so whatever you've just been through Pisces you're going to find out that it wasn't for nothing wasn't for nothing there was definitely something behind all of this I'm going to go ahead and pull some psychic tarot Get a little more information. Like I said, this is going to be an oracle tarot combination reading. Material, spiritual prosperity. And this sacral chakra is being transformed. Pisces, I do feel like you're a little bored with things right now. 6 plus 6 is 18, so I have 666 basically here. Material and spiritual prosperity. You are integrating the shadow. This is the miracle that's happening for you. To you. You are able to start integrating your shadow with your light. So you can find balance. And we have triumph and success and fulfillment of wishes with summoning your power. Nice. Like it. And this is what's being transformed. Your sacral chakra. Your sexual chakra. Which is also directly linked to your creativity. And the launching pad to your crown. So you are going through a serious spiritual transformation here number 13 is significant yeah all right so what deck do we want next we're gonna do the soul's journey and then i'm gonna pull some tarot What are the lessons that we need to learn through this transformation that's happening? Wow. Friendship and imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So there's a reason why somebody has come into your life, Pisces. It is to help elevate you into your next greatest life chapter. To help you with your imagination. To create. There's endless, endless uh, content out there that you can use for inspiration. You have to trust in spirit. That is going to be really, really important. 
I got self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Okay? So, your self-esteem is key here at, at figuring out what you're worth, Pisces. I mean, this is, this is really about self-worth, especially with the sacral chakra there. I got trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. And there's adversity here, so I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. So you may have, you know, a little bump in the road, a little hiccup here. But you understand that it's a learning curve. Then I have relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my highest good. And that's it. And then I have denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Okay? So you might be afraid of relationships right now due to, you know, a difficulty that you have recently experienced. Um, let's see what the tarot's got to say. What is this miracle that's happening for my Pisces? Like I said, you're coming online, Pisces, with the telepathy. So you can send shit out. Uh, knowingly or unknowingly. So I would suggest you mind your thoughts at this time. Because you could accidentally send out a vibe that tells somebody to stay away from you when you actually really want them to be close to you. Because that, that's what this is, this is kind of about. Oh yeah, that's definitely what this is about. Two of Pentacles. So, we have the Knight of Cups. Somebody coming in to express their love with love. They, they, that's, like, that's like somebody opening up completely and allowing it to flow. Could be a King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this is a go-getter. This is an entrepreneur. This is somebody who knows what they want. And it looks like they want you, Pisces. They want love. They want to bring something back. The judgment is being called. And this is what they want to bring back. They're about to tell you they're in love with you, Pisces, whether or not you're in, you're, you're, um, in contact with this person or not. They are coming to tell you. Could be a Gemini. Or Gemini rising. Or Gemini moon. Take it as it resonates. Um, wow. Four of Wands popped right out there. 11-11. Trust. Except your inner voice will always guide you in the right directions. And you know that challenges are the best way to learn here. You are summoning your power. This is a fulfillment of a wish. Seven of... Seven of cups tells me that you think it's all an illusion even though this is what you want you consider this person a page of pentacles and a liar I do feel like though there's a challenge the challenge here is to get past this because this is a challenge because there's the Nine of Cups. But it's from a page of Pentacles. With the Four of Cups, that tells me that you're really not paying any attention to this. You're so faceted on what has been or what has happened in this situation that you don't know if you're willing to accept this or not can't say as I blame you Pisces 
But, do, you know, I mean, if you have feelings for this person, maybe it's worth giving it a shot. It's a, it's, an, it's a small offer, but it's an offer. This person does love you, and they have been hiding their feelings. They are completely in love with you. They may have a third party. I feel like this person might have gotten involved with someone else. After they may have ghosted you. Yeah, and they're extremely sorry for that. Extremely. Big bad choice here. Mm, I think you fucked up, whoever you are. Justice, we have Libra energy here. Told you, Libra, zero point, comes on the 25th of, this, of September. You will come to a place where you transform a relationship. Whether that be with family, friends, lover. To me, it looks like a lover. Possible Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Gemini. <clears throat> we got the shtick coming in. Um, as far as you know, this is over. And you're healed. You're enjoying your life. Or maybe not enjoying it, but... You are transforming yourself from being in denial to having that power over this difficulty. This ending that took place. Because you've healed from this ending that took place, you get the brand new beginning. This person might be watching you. Could be a Leo. Um... This is how they see you, as their perfect match. Maybe they didn't see you like that before, but they do now. Understand that they are still a page. And that doesn't mean that they ain't got anything. It just means that the offer is immature. It means that they're not sure what to offer this time, but they're going to try to make an offer. And it might be a lie, Pisces, so that is where your um, spidey senses need to come in to play. Because if this person's lying to you about money, then they have no business being in, giving you the shtick, I'm just saying, or... You giving them the shtick, whichever way that works. Male or female. Uh, what does this king of wands want? What do they want? I mean, it's obvious they want love. Queen of swords in reverse. This person is very overburdened by whatever they did, whatever they chose. It caused the five of wands in reverse. Ten of wands upright. So they took on the burden of somebody else's bullshit. Because they let their guard down. And didn't make a choice. They were at a crossroads. They made a bad choice. Not my problem. Pisces, you're healed from this. This person made a really bad choice. The first bad choice they made was to lie to you because you're the high priestess. You might not say anything, but you know they lied. We got an emperor in reverse popping right out here. Yeah, this person is unstable. Yes, they might love you, but they are not who they seem to be. They, they feel like they don't have any choice but to let their guard down, though, because... Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, Pisces. 
So I don't see this as a viable option for you. You're going to have two choices in the very near future. And it's going to be up to you what you want this brand new beginning to look like. Because i got an emperor in reverse and a nine of pentacles upright. So this is somebody who could be married and lying about marriage. Okay? They may be trying to free themselves from a marriage with that queen of pentacles in reverse. So they can become single. Because they are in love with you Pisces. But I don't see you giving this another chance. Judgment in reverse. Ten of Cups in reverse. I, I don't see you giving this another chance. It's like they had every chance to show you who they were in the past. And now they're coming here in the present and the future and the challenge to tell you how overburdened they are and how much they love you and... Like I said, they're a boss in reverse. So that is, to me, drone energy. And you're a Jedi, Pisces. It's not a match. Maybe it might be fun. I mean, I do feel like this person's in the middle of a divorce. And they're just not telling you that. That's the Seven of Swords. What is this Ten of Wands, Four of Swords, Ace of wands strength and the queen of wands about yeah they're, they're definitely leaving a family situation to come towards you I'm gonna have to be honest with you Pisces Either you or them is not in love with the other one. This is a one-sided relationship. I've got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And, and Pisces, as much as I hate to say this, you need to let go of the unfairness the, uh, of the situation. I mean, see it for what it is. It's not your Two of Cups. But there is, there, there's love here, but it's so premature. It is just so not stable that maybe you're denying your own feelings for this person. They are getting away from a queen of cups. You can't see this happening right now. They're stalking your social media or whatever. They're stalking you. Because they want to tell you how they feel. Because here's the Knight of Cups for the second time. But I think you're going to turn them down. Because of the lies. Because, you know, maybe it might be a good time... But you, you know that there's still a whole lot of baggage connected to this person. And you don't want to take that on. I, I feel that strongly. It's just like you... It's too much responsibility. It's like, it's like taking on another child. A man child or a female child. And I don't think you're willing to do that. I think you're in the Nine of Pentacles and loving yourself right now, Pisces. You're not willing to take on some uh, on the financial responsibility of someone else because they're going through it. Not your problem. Go listen to my song. It's not my problem. It's your problem. Let's get some kippers.
This could even be family, Pisces. Somebody's definitely stuck. They could even be in jail. We have a whole community of people, family, courthouse, marriage, and a message. So like I said, I think this person is already married. They may have something to do with... I don't know what this is, Pisces, but I'm feeling like some kind of non-profit organization with the family room and the community. Kind of like one of these really, really rich people. Like, um, they donate to charities and things like that. And maybe that's what they have to work out in a court case with this partner that they were married to. But you're about to get a message regarding this. I guess that they, they, they're hoping that that will change your mind if you see the documents in play if you see that they are really trying to work on this they just don't have as much to offer right now as they would like but Pisces I'm feeling like you don't feel the same way about this person I think you might have healed from it and you just you just don't you don't want to give it another chance Yeah, you're done reflecting. You got keys on a ring. Like I said, I don't feel like you feel like you have a choice here because you're freeing yourself from toxic relationships and addictions. Freeing yourself. Not taking any more time to waste your time. On possibly this self-absorbed narcissist. That's, you know, very draining. They don't make healthy choices. So, I think your healthy choice right now, Pisces, is, is to do what's best for you. Uh, regardless of your sexual desire. I do feel like there's a, a lot of sexual desire here for this person. Even if... They've betrayed you, done you wrong, you found out about third party. Like I said, telepathy is off the chain right now. Pisces, I feel like this is you. Get to that zero point during Libra season. And setting your intentions to manifest your next best life. You're working on your self-esteem right now. And you don't need nobody coming and kicking dirt in your face while you're trying to work on that self-esteem. And I think that's exactly what's happening here. You don't want to go back there. Alright, I'm going to re read just what this card means, not the whole card. Okay, so this is Izumi. As the Fool reminds you to be free in your expressions and the way that you view the world. She calls to your inner child to let go of your baggage and schemes. To surrender your grip on the way you function and remember that life is a dance. Be like Azumi and free your inner radiance into expression by being true to your genuine essence, released from the restricted limitations of your genetics and the world around you. Damn, that was a good ending. <laughs> Sorry, I enjoyed that personally. Anyway, I love you guys. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. I love you. Tomorrow. Bye.